gentlemen. Uh, my name is Brooks Emerson, and today I'm going to talk to you about poster presentations. As you can see, my poster here is in three parts. Your poster will also be in three or four parts. It really depends on how many people are in your group, how many parts it will have. Um, first, I'm going to talk about the preparation, how these poster presentations will be good for you, and how it will prepare you. Then, I'm going to talk about training, what you're going to learn, and what skills you'll get in this poster presentation. And finally, I'm going to talk about assessment, how the grade, how I give you a grade for this poster presentation. This presentation, it, this presentation class counts as your speaking grade. So if you remember last semester when you had your speaking test, remember you walked into it with a friend and they showed you pictures and you didn't know what pictures they were going to show you. And then they asked you to have a conversation and you didn't know what conversation they were going to ask you. Well, this semester you are so lucky because this is going to be your creation. You're going, to be, you're going to come to the test and you will know what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. So it's an amazing thing right there. We just, you know, made it easier for you. Now, the preparation part. This is a prep program, preparation program, Hauser Leak program. So what are we Hauser Leaking you for? Hopefully, we're getting you ready to go to your faculties. That's for sure. But this presentation project will do that, but it will do much more. So yes, it will get you ready for your faculties because you will learn skills. You'll learn skills like researching. And in the faculties, you have an English class called 201. And this class is a research-based project. So you will learn here how to research and how to cite your research or how to show the teacher where you got your information. You're going to learn that here in a, in a class where it's very safe because those classes in your faculties, they, they stay on your record. They count. This, you know, this Hazelik program really doesn't count on your record. It's just if you pass and you pass the proficiency, you go to your faculties. So this is a really safe space to learn that. Also, in your student life, you guys are going to be engineers. And as engineers, you will probably go to conferences, engineering conferences. And you'll, know, you'll notice when you go to conferences that the experts are in the room with the PowerPoints and showing, um, doing their, their presentations. But the students are out in the hallway with posters, giving poster presentations. And so this skill will be something that you can bring into your academic life. Additionally, most students that I talk to say that they want to get a master's degree or a PhD abroad. They want to go to Europe or America or Canada or England to get a master's or a PhD. Well, this, if you do that, most programs do require that you give presentations. So if you learn it now, if you have the experience now, it will be so much easier when you go abroad. <coughs> but this presentation program doesn't stop at preparing you for your student life. Additionally, it prepares you for your work life. You guys are going to be engineers, and as engineers, you guys will be part of teams that have projects. And in your project, you will probably have to give a presentation to your boss about where you are in the project. Or as a team leader, you may have to give a presentation to your team to say what we're going to do in this project. Or as a, maybe an architect, you might have a customer, and then you're going to have to give your presentation to your customer to show them what you will do with the program. And additionally, in work, you're going to have to learn how to work in teams. So you're going to have to learn 
how to cooperate with each other and work together to produce something. So all of this is going to help you in your life, in your student life and your work life. Now, one other aspect of this project is that this gives you the chance to be creative. You do not get that in any other class. Most classes tell you, we're working on chapter one, do the exercises, memorize what you need, and then we're going to give you a test where you will show us that you understood everything from chapter one. In this lesson, you get the chance to create something. You can make it as big or small as you want. You can do what you want with this. So this is really an opportunity for you to do something different. It's a different kind of class. Now, the training. Here, in the next six weeks, you're going to learn specific skills. For example, you'll learn how to outline a project. Now that skill of outlining is going to follow you into your writing, into your projects. It's going to follow you all through your academic career. So it's a really good skill to have. Additionally, you're going to learn how to research and how to reference your research. And it's really important, it's really important for you to, <coughs> it's really important for you to know how to reference your, your work because in 201, you'll be required to do it. But when you go abroad, if you don't do it, they can kick you out of the university. They can kick you out for not do it, showing your research. So it's a skill that you will need. You know, they take it very seriously. It's called plagiarism. And if you write a paper in, a, in graduate school, in a master's program or PhD, and you do not tell them where you got your information, they say, well, you stole that information, and you're a thief, and then they kick you out of the university. It's really, I'm not kidding, I'm really not kidding. It's really that. So you, you will need that skill, and you'll get that skill here. Additionally, you'll get an opportunity to learn how to cooperate with other people because you'll need to share different parts of the project. You'll learn presentation skills, such as how to hold your body, how to project your voice, what do you do with your hands to make it so it's easier for the listener and also easier for you. And you'll learn active listening. You'll learn how to get the information you need from a person who is presenting and to, if you don't get it, to know which questions to ask that person. And so you'll learn quite a lot during this. Finally, this is a course. And because it's a course, you will get a grade. Now this grade will be your speaking test grade. Now what they told me was that really I only have to give you a grade on your presentation. So when you come here, I give you a speaking grade based on fluency, and accuracy and grammar and vocabulary, all these things we test for. But I have decided to make it better for you, easier for you, by breaking it up. So for example, I'm going to ask you to write uh, an outline. First, a rough draft of an outline, so the first ideas of what you're going to do. And then when you give the presentation, you'll give me a final draft of the outline. So that's two grades. Then, when you give your presentation, you will also give me a work cited. Where did you get the information for your presentation? So that's another grade. I also give you a grade on your poster. You know, is it creative? You know, does it have a balance of uh, words and images? And then I will give you a grade for your presentation. Again, vocabulary, fluency, uh, all the things that we really always look for. Now, one other thing I should mention is that in your groups, each person must speak. That's sharp. You must do that. The second thing is each person must speak maximum five minutes. So maybe your, your 
presentation will be three minutes, maybe it will be four minutes, but it cannot be six minutes. It cannot be more than five minutes. You will lose points if you go more than six minutes. And so by doing, by timing it, which I told you I'm timing this presentation now, by timing it and practicing it, you will get better at finding the right words to say and getting the information in a timely manner, in a, in a good amount of time. So it's actually, in the end, it's going to be great for you. So that's it, Arkadashwa. This is poster presentation. Again, um, it'll prepare you for your future. It'll give you some good skills that you can take with you out into the world. And um, I think I did it in a way that makes your grade very fair. Thank you very much. <laughs>